Hi everyone, this is Owen from Storyboard That, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to set up your students using a single sign-on. So instead of importing all of our students automatically from a service like Google Classroom or Clever Library, instead we're going to be having students sign in with their single sign-on. So let's go ahead and get started and show what that looks like. You can see I need to finish setting up my teacher account, so I'm just going to go ahead and set up my students here. And that's going to open up this wizard. Again, we're not importing automatically, so we're just going to manually enter the name of our class. It'll be English period one for now, and we'll go ahead and create it. This next step in the wizard is going to ask if we want to add any more classes. I'm not going to do that right now, so I'm just going to go to the next step. And here we go. How should your students sign in? So it's going to give a number of different options for single sign-ons here. So let's say I'm using uh, my students Microsoft single sign-on. I'm going to go ahead and click on Microsoft, and that's going to open uh, give us this link that we can copy and share with our students. So if we go ahead and copy that, now it's copied to our dashboard and our students can uh, use that link to sign on. So let's take a look at what it looks like when students actually visit this link. It's gonna look like this and you can see it brings them straight to the Microsoft page where they just need to put in their school Microsoft information to be automatically added to the Storyboard That account. And then every time when they go to log into Storyboard That, they can just use their Microsoft single sign-on and it'll bring them right in. So that link is typically the easiest way here, but there is another way to add students if we want, and that's with a class code, which is a really great option because a lot of other products use class codes. So if your students are used to using that, it's a good option as well. So I'm gonna to go to my classes dashboard over here, and you can see this class code was generated automatically when we created our English period one class. And it's super easy. Students just need to go to this link up here, storyboardthat.com slash code, and enter our class code, uh, which is this um, code right here. So let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm going to go to storyboardthat.com slash code. And for our class code, I'm just going to enter it. And that'll bring us to this page where they can choose which single sign-on they want to use to log in. So they're Microsoft, Google, Clever, whatever single sign-on you're using. They can also create an account for themselves with this drop-down menu right here where they can create a username and password and then use that unique username and password to log in every time as well. So they can do this manually as well if single sign-on isn't an option. But anyways, I hope that was helpful uh, using that single sign-on to get your students added to the account. It's really quick, really convenient. Uh, otherwise, happy storyboarding, and thank you so much for watching.